Hey guys. So quick little rant here because I've been seeing posts on Instagram and everywhere about talking about like intensity, RP and things like that. And like, here we go. I'm going to like rant out. I just finished my leg day and I'm super, super sore. And this, the intensity aspect is something that I'm personally working on myself. So this is not like a judgment towards anybody or anything like that. This is generally just to help you and give you some tips and advice and things that I've learned along the way and to put things into perspective, right? If you are a beginner or um, you're just, you know, want to lift, get healthy, get some tone, things like that, you need to push yourself at the intensity that I will talk about later in this video. Not necessarily. You can go fairly hard enough, get to the point that it's challenging, but you're not killing yourself, right? And you'll be happy and you have a general thing. But at some point that won't be enough if you're seeking progression or to massively change your body right your body's naturally built to be efficient and you're trying to cr overload it over stimulate it to you know increase if you're now we're talking really bodybuilding specific increase you know your muscle size right your body's going to need more energy to just survive and be like that things like that so is, if the stimulus is not there and you're not forcing your body to literally to do that to need it it won't happen okay and that's the like most simple way i can explain that now when we're looking at intensity right everybody's like oh you have to approach failure or two reps close to failure yada 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 right if you are progressively you know increasing reps weight over week and over time at some point you will hit that intensity so if you're not sure where you at just make sure you're trying to do that over time and you'll hit it right so if you're a beginner and you're not sure right you probably are not at the right intensity i swear if i was there if you had a trainer and he was pushing you probably could be able to do more reps but though if you are continuously progressing in your numbers you will reach that at some point but now say you're intermediate say you're more advanced say you kind of have a better feel of you know your weights your lifts things like that and you're pushing your weights it's not just a matter of going heavier right another big thing that you know, when I started lifting, right, I would, you know, ask like my guy friends and things like that. And they were like, oh, you need to go like heavy and do like three reps and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, you know, but the reality is bodybuilding and hypertrophy is a lot different than building your strength. You will get stronger over time in both scenarios, but training specifically for strength, right? When you're looking at some strength, like, like a power lifter, right? You're trying to be the most efficient in your movement, use you know, maximum amount of energy at the right time in the right place. You're using a lot more muscles. You're not so much trying to isolate a muscle or anything like that. You're not trying to, you know, cause unnecessary fatigue. You want to be as efficient with your technique. Technique is huge on powerlifting. In order, again, to be able to recruit the muscle, the muscle fibers necessary to exert maximum amount of force in a short amount of period of time, and it's specific to that movement, right? completely different to bodybuilding right hypertrophy training you're trying to make the muscle put it in a most inefficient state in order to tax it maximally across all fibers of that muscle and again f cause maximal tension and some disruption in the muscle right and you're breaking it down over time and it's rebuilding and it's getting stronger and things like that but this it, it is a very the two different very concepts Right, and if you're just training in the three rep range, you're not gonna be having that maximum t tension that you need to create for that muscle to grow. It will, but you'll hit, and that's why necessarily being super super strong in gym doesn't mean you're the biggest guy, right? Or girl, or gal. All right, let's recuperate because I know I kind of go on a little mini rants here. So back to the intensity aspect of it. How do you create? You how are you pushing intensity when it comes to Again, bodybuilding now, we're talking about going to the pro and things like that. You know, there's a reason why a lot of people have trainers or training partners or things like that, right? Because it's really hard to keep pushing harder. And it's not always necessarily going heaviest, heavier in the weight. Um, focusing on that movement and <laughs> literally like making sure your contraction is as best as you can. Your form is spot on. You're not rushing the movement. You're not using momentum. You really, really think about it actively thinking about that muscle. You're thinking about your posture and your directional forces and 
everything else that comes into the picture, right? How can you honestly in that moment make it more difficult, right? Which that's like a whole other category on its own. And it comes with experience and also comes with knowing your body and what exercises allow you to do that better than others. But then the mental aspect of it is a huge thing. Nobody really talks about when you're training, right? You're also training your mental capacity to take on discomfort. And your so the neurological pathways that you are training for that and again you can take it in any in any other part of your life but you are gonna have to understand that there's gonna be a level of discomfort where you're gonna go through and have to surpass and keep getting to that point because again right we all get we all adapt we all get used to it so we have to keep seeking that discomfort in order to cre to go forward and a lot of people again on their own it's really hard it's really hard mentally right because what happens say everybody knows right leg extensions and you get like a heavy set of 20 25 reps brutal right you get through the first 10 reps you're just like okay and those last eight reps man they're killing you okay you're having considerable heavy weight and you're really feeling like attraction you're not rushing the movement all that then what happens right your heart rate starts going up your blood pressure starts going up your your body starts you know increasing its cortisol, things like that, which are all necessary in that moment. They sound like bad in everybody's day life. No, we don't want you to have high blood pressure all the time. But in that state, in that moment, biochemically, right, you want all that. And I think I said biochemically. I think that's the right English word. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to get bashed in the comments. But though, then, right, all that happens, you start holding your breath, your mind starts saying, oh my god, it hurts, I want to stop, I want to stop, I want to stop, that's it, that's enough. That's enough because I've reached an uncomfortable... But, if you like block that, you can keep going. Your legs are burning as hell and they feel like, you know, kind of like a swelling to it, right? Swelling feeling and you're like, I can't do no more. I can't do it. But if you really push through that pain and you kind of block it out, again, you go it. And that's when, let's say, a trainer, if I was there with my clients, I keep telling them, breathe, breathe, breathe. Because when you hold your breath and you're not letting oxygen go into your body, if the oxygen is not reaching your muscle, your muscle is going to give out way sooner than if you're breathing. So keep breathing, keep breathing, and then you just got to get through it. But if you are alone and this sport is important to you, you got to be that person that's telling you in your head, right? Okay, sure, you may not have somebody to help you do force reps. If, you're, if you literally can't move it, you can't move it. But though... Telling yourself, though, when it hurts and it's uncomfortable and, again, your heart rate is up and you're out of breath and you're like, no, I, I'm, I'm going to push it now. Because, sure, you train hard. You reach that point. But to really, really, again, grow more and achieve, go to that next level with your physique, you need to go past that, which you can, and it all really comes in blocking that mental barrier. And you're training that pathway neurologically and you'll get, it gets easier over time to get to that spot. When people talk about flipping the switch and getting to that spot, that's really what they're talking about. And over time, that gets easier and easier. And if you see, you know, top pro athletes in the sport, they train, their training is really, really different, right? And they train really, really hard. Their movements are very, very efficient. They don't waste a lot of time. Also in their warm-up sets. Warm-up sets are not just to, okay, warm up to the weight that you're, that you're going to train. Yes, it's important. And it's also to keep you safe and injury-free, right? But your warm-up set should really be your prime time of what everybody says. Activating the muscle that you really, really want to target. Really, really focus on your form, right? So when you get to your heavy sets, your counting, working sets, you have primed your body for that movement for that muscle in time right you don't need to do crazy like especially for the girls right and all these activating the glute exercises and things like that if you're doing like five ten exercises before in order to activate the glutes and in between your break time your rest time you're activating the glutes we're basically just causing a lot of fatigue and you're not be able to do your major lifts that's my opinion right some activation exercises are good but those warm-up sets really should be what's what's activating your muscle you're getting into the right position, you're priming, again, your body, your technique, your movements up and down to do this. And so I feel like I could go on and on about this um, topic because I just feel like it's very, very underrated. Your training is very, very underrated. You need to train hard and it's going to hurt and it's going to be painful. And again, the biggest barrier to that is your mind because it's telling you I want to stop and you got to just keep going and not just counting reps and saying okay paper says 10 reps i did 10 reps i'm done well what if you could have done 12 
what if you could have gone way deeper and way and way slower control and that way we need the loading the muscle you know and again i can go on and on but anyways and that's something i'm trying to work on myself because i don't have a training partner or a trainer in person my coach is miles away right and again i really want to take my physique to the next level i'm trying to move up to category and you know that's important to me and the thing is too and i've said this before i've, I've talked about this on my stories if you leave some gas on the table, especially if the sport is important to you, you will leave there and be re you'll regret it. You'll regret that workout. You'll be like, okay, you will never get that workout back. And that's what I tell myself when like, I'm like, okay, like, oh, I'm very uncomfortable. Oh, it hurts a lot. Or, you know, I'm like, okay, but I worked hard, but I knew I could do more. That's why I tell myself, I'm never going to get this workout back again. I, sure, I can try again harder next time, and that's still progression. But I'm never going to get this moment in time back. So if I don't give it my all back right now, I've missed this opportunity. And I don't want to miss this opportunity because this sport and what I want to accomplish is way more important to me than leaving some gas on the table. So anytime those thoughts come into myself, I just say, this is my, this is my only chance to do this at this moment in time. And... So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. I never regret it because even as uncomfortable as it may be in the moment, afterwards, I feel at peace. That that gives me peace because I know that I did my job right. I know I did my job right today. And I can go home and repeat again the next time knowing that my last was complete and was what I wanted it to be in my head, what I visualized it, what I'm putting out in the world. So this is all right it's over 10 minutes this video but i'm probably not gonna i'm just gonna make this video this topic right in my car sitting with you guys but again training intensity is super super important and i want you guys to understand like you see that too many people right are years and years in the gym they achieve a level of you know fitness that it, they look good and things like that but then it kind of stay the same if you stay in the gym long enough you'll notice the people that have kind of been there all the time that they kind of still look the same well because They've been keep doing the same thing and they're training hard, but they're not passing that point. There's that point and you won't understand until you experience. And again, this does not apply to you if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, go train, learn everything and do it. You'll get some results. But there comes a point where that next step happens. And again, it, it divides the elite, the top pros from, you know, just the normal, just average person going to the gym. <laughs> so anyways... I let me know in the comments below if you like this video if it was helpful share it with somebody it truly helps subscribe to my channel you know all the jizz oh 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 and also a little announcement I may be getting like a little like sponsor like for like a supplements brand sponsor and so guys stay tuned for that I'm gonna tell you all about that in the next video which is super super exciting yeah my first my first like thing Oh, I'm super, super excited because I use them all the time. But yeah, I'll keep that for the next video. So with all that, love y'all. Keep lifting. Mwah.